Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwame Sha'Allah, Kohaloyim, Lai Hawa Bashim Yawashai, Bahashim Rakhachotash, the honor to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well the body spirit, taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf. That's all here, sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yawashai to the best of their ability. Shachanan Awaf is coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the spirit. And um, just wanted to touch on this Juneteenth thing. And of course, you know, um, I've seen yeah, older so-called black people today. You know what I'm saying? When I went to Walmart and was kind of out and about, I really really only seen them wearing these, um, these shirts and stuff like that. You know, I thought the shit was yesterday with Father's Day, but I didn't know. Anyway, it made me no difference. We're not going to celebrate any holidays. Um, with the so-called white man reminding you of what he done to you. And then you go and purchase shit. You go and purchase merchandise. You go and purchase paraphernalia. You go and purchase um, clothing to wear and all this other stuff. It's really rather stupid, man. But anyway, that's our people. And then you know what our people are going to do? These same people that, that celebrating Juneteenth today, they're going to be barbecuing for 4th of July for 1776 Independence Day when the so-called white man was... <laughs> really doing our, our people dirty you know what i'm saying so our people are backwards man and let me grab this real quick before i go off into because i just wanted to just kind of look it up go off into a little bit of the history of it see what's going on with it you know what i'm saying i mean i understand what it is supposedly you know um from my understanding i think it was you know uh, it was some people supposedly found out two years later that they were um so-called free which, I mean, it's crazy, though, because we're still in captivity. That's the whole thing. They're giving you a June, a day called Juneteenth telling you that you're free. But yet, you got to pay them taxes. You can't leave their country without their permission. You must have their, their um, ID. You got to have their, you know, state ID, um, a driver's license, a passport. You have, to, you have to for sure show that you, um, you know, you've rolled up your sleeve. You've taken all their shots. And then once they, they you know, they, they stamp your passport, you only get a certain amount of time to go wherever it is that you're going before you have to be back here. So how are you free? That's the craziest part about it, man. But our people don't be thinking. They don't they don't care. And like I said, again, they're, they're about to go right out here. They already got the grill. They're going to get the meat together. You know, all that pork ribs and shit. They're going to, you know, even have a catfish fry. You know, they're going to have some um, some gumbo with all the abominable foods in it. And they're going to celebrate 4th of July right along with the so-called white man. It's ridiculous, man. So it's like our people really don't have no integrity. There's no integrity with our people, man. If you had any type of integrity, you would not even celebrate any of these holidays. You see? You, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't celebrate any of these holi holidays. It, it's <laughs> the shit just out of hand. But, we, hey, we, we about there. We getting there, man. We getting there. We getting there because the Lord is about to come and destroy this place and their holidays and you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans that want to get down with this man. You, uh, uh, Jake out here in the army saluting the flag. <laughs> All kinds of shit, man. I mean, our people. Let me get this. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because of because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Why you think these kids running around out here crazy as hell? Why you think these little jakes out here, man, pants hanging off the ass, fucking hair looking like they just came out of the bush, looking crazy as hell, don't have no kind of manners, don't have no, I'm talking about when I say no manners, um, these kids are literally um, animals. They're they're literally brute beasts, man. You, with the exception of a few. You see what I'm saying? And then the, the exception of the few, they still don't know about Yahweh by Shem Shai. They don't know the true name of the Father Yahweh, which means that He exists or or the existing one. They don't know the true name of His Son Yahweh Shai, which means that He's the Savior or Deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. They just are being raised with manners that's that's pretty much associated with the scriptures but they don't know why they're even doing it you know so th those parents that that are still kind of there that are kind of given somewhat of some discipline so to speak or some order in the household you know 
They're just sending their children off basically to become wild ass beasts all over again once they leave the, the coop. Because if they ever hit this so-called white man college, you already know. Especially the little girls, the young ladies. They go to these colleges, man, to turn into complete slut buckets. But anyway, our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. See, our people, first off, don't know that they, they don't understand that they have enemies. That's, the, that's our pick, people's biggest problem. They don't understand that the people that have you here in America, they are your enemies. Jake just like, fuck it, man. If you can't beat them, join them. That, that used to be a saying back in the days. I haven't heard that in a while. But it used to be a saying where they would say, hey, well, if you can't beat them, join them. Nah, man, you got to have some type of integrity, man. All that giggling, laughing, hee, 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 hee. Because see, the so-called white man, when he see you and you're not giggling and laughing, he's wondering, like, what the fuck is wrong with him? Because they're so used to you entertaining. You see what I'm saying? So now, let's see what we can get out of this. First thing I noticed was the African colors, of course. You know, they're giving it the red, the black, the green. Got you, Jake, thinking y'all African. You know, Africa is named after a so-called white man. You don't descend from a so-called white man. You know, you're not African. You're not American. Those two, those, those two continents are named after so-called white men. So you got to get rid of that, man. Okay, so now, let's click back. Let's go into, let's see what they got on the Wikipedia. Juneteenth, okay. So they, they made it a federal holiday. Well, shit, I had to go to, to the plantation today, so I didn't even know nothing about, like I said, I forgot all about that shit. <sighs> yep, but I had to go to the plantation on that today. But um, let's see what they're talking about here. Juneteenth is a federal holiday in the United States commemorating the emancipation of enslaved African Americans, deriving its name from combining June and 19th. It is celebrated on the anniversary of the order by Major General Gordon Granger, proclaiming freedom for enslaved people in Texas on June 19th, 1865. Okay. Now, what would be the reason for me going out purchasing food, clothing, paraphernalia? No. Like, what would be the purpose for that? I already know that I'm in slavery. You know, now, at least I know. <laughs> you know, when you come into this truth, you know, we know that we're still in slavery. We know that we're still in captivity and we understand why we're here. Well, see, these so-called blacks, man, they don't they don't know what the hell going on. They they they, they really think they're free. They think they're free because they can get up at three in the morning, go to the refrigerator, scratching their goddamn belly, eating for the 20th time of the day. Or they don't see any. They don't see anything in the refrigerator that they want right off. They can jump into their vehicle and drive to a, a 24 hour restaurant or a, a, a fucking McDonald's um, drive through or White Castle or something like that. 24 hours and they can go and get food. And, 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 and even when they go and do that. If the police stop your ass, there's a good chance you can die. Because the paddy patrol is still out. You see what I'm saying? Jake, you know, they get to screaming, I'm an American. I got rights. Let me get your badge, off. let me get your badge number, officer. Trying to be like Esau. And that shit don't work. <laughs> like, for real. Getting their goddamn heads bashed in. So-called white man, I don't want to hear none of it about you talking about what's your badge number. You, you just need to comply and, and, and be as easy as you possibly can and pray that you can get out of the situation, man. Because the Lord, because the scripture says to um, stay away from the man that has the power to kill. That man has the power to kill you. And, and it just so happened just 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 recently they've started to um, look at body footage, body cam footage and, and see if they've wronged you. You know. Now, now, now it's kind of like at a point where, you know, the Lord and gave us done cut us somewhat of a break and gave us somewhat of some mercy because these police officers, it, you know, it's been in the news so big with the George Floyd thing. So every time a Jake gets shot, now it's under scrutiny. And that's all about the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shimei was shot. And let me get this too. Uh, what is that? Uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and what's that 16? Uh, nope. It's 15. Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. That which has been is now. And that which is to be has already been. And Yahweh require it that which is past. So that Juneteenth shit, you ain't got to worry about that. 
The Lord requires even way beyond 1865. He's going back. He's going back into every point in history where the Israelites were enslaved under the, the heathen. And you so-called white people, you have a lot to pay for, man. You're going to pay for the shit that you've done. You best believe it. And you can kind of see it now. Your, your fall is coming right now. Your, your fall is already happening. Look at your country. Just look at the state of European people or Caucasian people or so-called white people throughout the world. And we say so-called because they're actually pinkish to reddish in color. These are not, they're not white people. Nobody is out here running around looking like a glass of milk. See, all those social constructs are being cut into. Nobody believes them no more. They used to be able to go on, on the news and say all kinds of weirdo shit. And people would just take it and run with it and believe it. Now people are questioning, like, hold on, this motherfucker said what? And they're questioning shit. They're fact checking their asses. Why? Because there's a, the scriptures talks about there's going to come a time where truth is going to be known. The truth is going to be said and it's going to be known. See, they've been able to lie for so long. Now the Lord is, is lifting up the skirt of the so-called white man. Now they're being exposed. Right? Let me get this one again. That which hath been is now. And that which is to be hath already been. And Yahweh requireth that which is past. You don't think the Lord don't know about 1865? The Lord know about 1765? The Lord know about 1665? The Lord know about 2005? You know? You see what I'm saying? So the Lord is about to handle all this. You don't have to worry about that. You ain't even got to worry about no Juneteenth. We don't need to be running around out here with no goddamn African shirts on because we're not them bone through the nose, um, spear chunking ass Africans, man. We are Hebrew Israelites from our respective tribe. We come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which are descendants of Shem. We're not descendants of Ham. Africans are descendants of Ham, man. See, they got our people out here believing that they're actually Africans. But when you go into the, the um, and I'm going to go into it. Let me go into it real quick. Let's, let's do it since we in here. Just for the sake of, just for the sake of, let's get ham, because the earth was repopulated by Noah, his sons, Noah's sons, Shem, Ham, Japheth. We come from the seed line of Shem. Let me just, uh. Ham in the Bible dictionary. They let me see if they got. Yep, they got the yep, the Zondervan's Compact Bible Dictionary. It says, um, Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of the eight persons you go into it. WordPress.com, let me see. Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. See, they're not, we're not the same people as Africans. Just because everybody with dark skin or everybody with melanin are not the same people. Because an Ethiopian is for damn sure not going to tell you they're an East Indian with the dot on their head. A Zimbabwean is not going to tell you that they're even um, a damn Ethiopian, man. But they are, they, they're the same, you know, they're pretty much the same people, but we're not the same people as Africans. We're, 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 we're a different set, we're a different um, um, nation of people, man. The Lord gave us law, statutes, and commandments. We are those people that came out of Egypt with Moses and went into the land of Canaan. And a and, and matter of fact, that's the reason why the Lord, Yahweh Shai, Mary, and Joseph was able to blend in into Egypt when Herod was trying to kill the, um, when, when Herod was trying to kill the Lord. When he was a baby and he was, you know, they, they went into Egypt. Why did they go into Egypt? Because they was able to blend in with the darker skinned people. But that doesn't mean that that's them. You see what I'm saying? So you, you have to, we have to do some, some, some research, man. That's why the scripture says to study and show thyself approved. And that's why I like to bring this out, man. It's simple. You know, we bring it out all the time, but sometimes we don't. We might just speak on it. We might just, you know, roughly paraphrase something. But it's good to like give people a visual on what's really going on because we're not Hamites, man. That's something that we have to get through our head. But see, our people stuck on that black power shit. Black this, bleedy black that. 
fist in the goddamn air, man. Come on, man. It's, it's high time to awake out of sleep and come out of that shit. I'm looking at, man, I be running, <laughs> like, for real. I'm just trying to, you know, just trying to keep a steady head out here, man. This shit be pissing you off. This mic of 2 and 10. And it reads, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Our people are sorely destroyed and believe just by believing that they're fucking black. That's destruction on you, man. To believe that you're an African American, to believe in some fucking Juneteenth, to believe in anything that the so-called white man is pushing on you, is it, it, destruction, man. This place has sorely destroyed our people. How many people got killed? You could just look at the news today. You think black on black crime stopped because it was fucking Juneteenth? Are you serious? Only thing that's going to stop that is, is, is the Lord, man. How about you, me? I was shy. You coming into this truth, repenting and changing up your lifestyle, coming out of those works of darkness, man, according to um, Romans 13 and 12. That's the only way this is going to change up, man. It's not going to be some fucking holiday that the so-called white man threw at you and, and, and he's reminding you, yeah, we fucked y'all over. You know how many white people sitting around, man, right now, laughing their asses off, giggling, and talking all kinds of shit every time they see one of you Negroes with one of these T-shirts on? Man. That's the reason why they don't have no respect for you. I'm going to tell you, if y'all stop shopping on these, on these wicked-ass holidays, they'll have all kinds of respect for you. All kinds of respect for you. I was looking at that Root series, and matter of fact, they had that Juneteenth shit in that Root series that I watched um, from on um, the History Channel, and when 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 the, when, the, when the slaves supposedly so far was free, those white people was looking sad as hell that they didn't have no workers no more. Oh well, it's nothing, you know. Um, but you know, we go way back. You know, I wasn't always bad to y'all. If you could stick around and work the farm, I dig it. Nah, man. Jake, a lot of Jake was just taking off the needle, but a lot of Jake stuck around, man, and worked, continued on working for Malcolm, because they loved Malcolm. Do you think that they would have packed their shit up and went and just tried to do something? But Jake stuck around. Why? Because of Stockholm Syndrome. Oh, I love Malcolm. Malcolm wasn't always bad to us. What we gonna do? How we gonna eat? This is how it's gonna be when um when they when they when they present that MOTV to your asses too. When they get ready to put this fucking computer in your ass, when they get ready to implant your ass so they can uh, know your every move, when they when they ready to per perpetually enslave your ass, Jake gonna fall for it. Why? But uh, what we gonna do? What we gonna do? What we how we gonna eat? The baby's gotta eat. The baby's already crying. We gotta go to Mouse and Mouse. Not gonna call on board, man. Let me get this real quick. It's ridiculous, man. It, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing to see our people like that, man. I mean, I'm walking around in Walmart looking like, what the? Y'all, I'm like, well, damn. <laughs> Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many. And in horsemen, because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel. Neither seek the Lord. Our people don't seek the Lord. It's going to be a lot of our people, man. And I pray to you, how about Shemiah was shot, man, that you give me the, the, the strength to endure through everything that's to come during Jacob's trouble, man. Because it's going to get rough. It's going to be some rough patches, man. But Jake is just going to fall for it immediately. The same way they went out and rolled their goddamn sleeve up with that COV-19. All the so-called white man had to do was go on the news and say, yeah, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they're disproportionately affected by this. We have to help them out first. Jake went right out here and rolled their goddamn sleeves up, man. Now they looking doofy as hell. And it's going to be the same way when it comes down to this computer thing, man. When they want to put that mark of the beauty and the beast in your ass at Revelation 13 and 16, Jake going for it. They're going to go for it. Why? Because they don't trust in Yahweh. They're not going to trust in Yahweh to say um, for the Lord to feed them. Not one iota is going to enter into their minds like the Lord created this entire planet. I know he can feed me. If he created all this stuff that I can see physically, all these elements, 
everything that I can see around me, he created. And, and, and Jake not going to have no mindset where uh, uh, the Lord can feed them. They're going to go to the so-called white man. And it's going to get them fucked up, man. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, you are Hebrew Israelites. You need to repent to the father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Come out of that idolatrous ass white Jesus. Come out of these, these Christian churches where they beat that crap into you during slavery. And believe on the true scriptures, man. Because the Lord is a dark, melanated man. If he was walking the earth today, he would be a Negro. It's not no blonde hair, blue eyed white guy. You're running around here worshiping this goddamn idol. You wait until the Lord come and you worshiping that goddamn idol and see how it turns out. Y'all better repent, man. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame, y'all,